hello guys welcome to another video and in this video we are going to keep talking um, keep talking about the AWS certify solutions architect and this is for the associate level and what we are going to talk about today is going to be the instance data and how to retrieve that instance data or metadata um, and the instance metadata is the data related is data relating to the instance that can be accessed from within the instance itself using a utility capable of accessing HTTP and using the URL, this URL right here. Okay, so also um, an instance metadata is a way that scripts and applications running on EC2 can get visibility of data they will normally need an, I, an API calls for. And the metadata can provide the current external IPv4 address for the instance, which isn't configured on the instance itself, but provided by the Ethernet internet gateway in the VPC. It provides the availability zone the instance was launched in and the security groups applied to the instance. In the case of spot instances, it also provides the approximate time the instance will terminate. Uh, for the exam, you need to remember this IP address that we're going to, uh, that IP address that we use to access the metadata, which is this one is really easy to remember, 169.254.169.254. So we're just repeating ourselves. So 169, then 254, and then 169, and then 254, and then latest meta-data and then you put whatever you want to see. Okay, so we are going to um, create an EC2 and we're going to see how we can retrieve this instance metadata. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the AWS Management Console. We are going to go into the EC2. Um, it looks like I have a key pair right here one security group. I'm not going to use that key pair anymore, so I can just go ahead and delete it. Um, let's go ahead and create a new key pair and let's just call it instance metadata. I just put MME. Uh, we are going to save it to the downloads and we are going to go ahead and launch a EC2. We are just going to use this one right here. Uh, the free tier is good. Let's go ahead and review and launch since we are going to leave everything as default. We are going to use the key pair that I have, right? I'm going to say that I, I acknowledge it that I still have it because if I don't have that key pair anymore, um, I won't be able to connect. I cannot regenerate another key for the instance. If you lose your key, you won't be able to access your instance. You have to, you're gonna to have to terminate the instance and create a new one. There we go. It is saying that the following instance have been initiated. Let's go ahead and view instances. It is still pending, um, so that is cool. So let's give it a couple minutes and let's go ahead and I wanna, uh, we can't connect to it because it's still pending. So let's go ahead and see what we can get from the metadata. Um, and this is retrieving instance metadata. And because your instance metadata is available from your running instance, you do not need to use the Amazon EC2 console for the or the AWS CLI. This can be helpful when you are writing scripts to run from your instance. For example, you can access the local IP address of your instance from instance metadata to manage a connection to an external application. So you can do that. And here's our stuff that you can get from the metadata. You can get all this stuff, information of the of your EC2 from the metadata. And we are going to go over <clears throat> each one of them. So let's see if the instance has been launched. Yeah, there we go. Now it is running. Let's go ahead and con try to connect to it. Um, the first thing that we need to do is, since I downloaded that um, key pair, I need to run and change the, the I gotta change the permission so I can view it. Uh, so let's go ahead first into my downloads folder. 
if I'm over here, I need to paste that to change the um, the permissions on it, and then I should be able to use it. Paste it. Enter yes. There we go. So now I am connected to my um, I am connected to my EC2 machine. Um, one way to verify that is let's go ahead and close this and go back over here and let's try to curl HTTP is it 169.254.169.254 latest meta data nothing showing so let me verify HTTP latest metadata um, let me verify that that's the correct one curl HTTP colon slash slash 169.254.169.254 latest metadata I did not get any let's see if we go to the um, AMI ID and as you can see right here um, it is giving me the um, the ID of it and you can verify that by going into the instance and if you go into the ID you can see right here that it um, where's the ID of it? Let's go ahead and copy this. And here it is. So the AMI, which is the Amazon machine, um, the Am Amazon uh, AMI stands for Am Amazon Machine Instance. Here's the ID of it. And you can verify that we have the correct one because I just, um, search it over here and you can see that it is right here so that is correct the correct one let's see if we can get the um, the private IP address and see if we can get it from over here so if we do a curl and we're going to change that to um, public or local IP before let's go ahead and do that Let's make it bigger so you guys can see the entire command. Local IPv4. You can see what's the local IPv4. Let's go ahead and go back to my instance and let's match it and verify it, see if it is the same. Um, we have right here 172. Oops, let's go ahead and, yep, yeah, we have it right here 172.31.45.72. 172.31.45.72 so it is the same one so we got that let's see if we can get the public IPv4 let's go public IPv4 is 18.234.40.170 let's verify that 18 18 234 234 40 170 so it is the same one so we are retrieving information from the metadata, right? Let's see what else we can do. We can do metrics, we can do network, we can do profile, host name. I mean, you name it. You can get a, a, a lot of information. You can even get the um, the public keys. Let's see if we find any public keys over here. Public keys. Um, and it didn't give me any. So you can see right here. Let's see if we get the what else we can get from here. Um, let's see if we can get the security groups. Let's copy it right here. Let's remove the last one and paste security groups. And it is saying that it is launch wizard one. Let's see if we have that over here. 
So if we go down to security groups, the name of it, there we go. That's the one that we are using. We are, we are using the launch wizard one. So that's the security group that this EC2 is in. So as you can see, you can get a lot of information. That's what I wanted to show you guys um, with the instance um, metadata. And this is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoy this video on how to get um, the EC2 um, the EC2 metadata, uh, how you can retrieve it and all that good stuff. So if you guys have any comments, go ahead and leave my comments on the description below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one guys. Bye bye.